Hello, and welcome to another episode of Retrospective Gaming. In this episode, we'll be covering Teleglitch Die More Edition, an indie game from Paradox Interactive. Now, this episode, I wanted to switch it up a bit, but I discovered this game through a Humble Bundle that I got a while back, and I've been really addicted to this game. It's really fun, and I've been anxious to make an episode on this. So here we go with Teleglitch Die More Edition. The story begins in a hopeless situation. Your character was working on a master teleporter. Until something went wrong and all hell has broken loose. And your only hope is to come out of hiding and get to the master teleporter to get back to Earth. Now, at first glance, you would think that the gameplay would overshadow the story and the story would take a backseat. But I actually found it very interesting and it kept my attention. Now you'll be facing off against mutants, zombies, and other freaks in nature, but what I really loved about the story was the sense of hopelessness. Now this game, no matter what may it look, it is survival horror, and it really brings that aspect out when you play this game. The situation's hopeless, and it almost looks like it's impossible, and your character really, really has to overcome a huge disadvantage and the uh, other thing that I liked too was the logs. You know, when, you be, when you're going through the levels, you'll see logs that you can read. And it really, you know, once you go through all these logs, it really explains how everything got here. And they're really interesting to read. And I love the fact that the developers really took the time to put that in the game. So overall, I found the story to be quite interesting. And it really surprised me for a game like this. Now, when it comes to flaws, I can think of one that might affect some people. That, to certain people, this game might get stale after a couple of hours. Especially if you play it for, like, a lot of hours during one playthrough. Then it has the potential to become stale. But, in my opinion, I love what the game is. And I haven't gotten bored of it yet. The gameplay in Teleglitch Die More Edition is very frantic and wow, it made me feel like I really had to survive this game. You see, this is a roguelike top-down shooter, which means if you die, too bad, try, try again next time, you lose all your shit and you gotta start over again. You can save in between levels and for example, if you get to the fifth level and die, then you won't have to start over again from the first level. You can start off from the third. So that's there so you won't completely be screwed when you die if you get far enough. And one of the great things about this game is each level is different. And what do I mean by that? Well, every time you play a level, the structure changes, which means if you died on level one and you have to go back and play it, that level will not be the same as the last time you played it. And that freshen things up and helps tremendously towards the replay value. And there is a great assortment of weapons. I mean, I found I was pretty satisfied with the amount of weapons they had in this game. And some of them had very funny names like Pink Death, the Self Defense Credit Card, or the Silver Spoon. I was wondering what the hell, I didn't even know what the hell these weapons were until I fired them off. And that's only some of the weird weapons that are in this game. You gotta discover the rest for yourself. But one thing I was not expecting about the gameplay in Teleglitch was how hard it is. I mean, this game goes from 1 to 100 very fast. You see, when I played the first level, it was pretty easy, so I thought the game wasn't going to be that hard. But after that, I found myself getting mobbed by enemies really quick and me running out of ammo. This game isn't very generous with ammo, and it's really about surviving. And it's crazy because I feel like I'm in a deadly maze each level. You know, I can turn the corner and be alright, but the next corner I turn, I get mobbed by enemies, I run out of ammo, and the whole level I'm just running around and trying to find the exit. And I seem to always make that one mistake where I enter the wrong place. And the enemies that are chasing after me block the exit, surround me, and kill me. So it really is rewarding when you beat a level in this game and you feel like you definitely earned it. You can also scavenge equipment together to make different gear which is always a nice feature to add. Now recently the developers added an arena mode where you pick your loadout and you try to complete the different stages 
now I think that's very awesome because it shows that the developers still care about their game and it's always nice when a developer continues to improve and support their game so that's freaking sweet if you ask me the, the last thing I want to mention before we move on is the database now from the start menu you can check the different items you encountered during your playthroughs the, the monsters you encountered the story and that's a great thing to add it's very detailed you can also check on the stats that you've had so far so they really put a lot of attention and detail into this game and that's a very good thing now let's move on as far as sound goes for teleglitch it's very simple I mean there's not much to talk about and that's not really I really want to talk about I had no problem with it I want to talk about the atmosphere and the graphics now the graphics are refreshingly retro use that as a catchphrase huh <laughs> But seriously, I love the retro graphics in this game. I think they fit the atmosphere perfectly, and the atmosphere is really great. I mean, you really feel like you gotta survive in this game. You really feel like you gotta watch what you use, and you gotta hope that all your shots hit, because if you run out of ammo, then you're screwed. And it really brings that point to you when you're playing. I mean, damn, I can't tell you how many times that I've died in this game. It's nuts and it's everything looks grim and it's dark and wow bravo to paradox interactive for this game it does survival horror better than some triple a games out there i mean it so once again bravo to the developers so overall i had a blast with teleglitch it's fun it's frantic and it's hard and you're most likely gonna die a lot of times and that's the beauty of it. It's really challenging. And even though you may die a lot, you still want to go back and do everything the game has to offer. And I didn't expect from a small game like this to get so much fun out of it. And that's awesome. So yes, I do recommend it. It goes on sale quite a bit. And it's cheap anyway. So if you're interested, pick it up. And thanks for watching another episode. Now, if you're seeing this and you haven't subscribed to me yet, why not check my other content out and consider supporting me by hitting that subscribe button. And be on the lookout because my next video will be a surprise. It's something a little different. And the first video of July will be on Fallout 2, so stay tuned for that. And as always, have a great day.